Can you teach me how to do that? I'm still not good at rock climbing yet. But don't worry, I'm learning. In in real life, I'm actually learning to rock climb. It's pretty cool. It hurts like nobody's business, but Oh, is it fun? Didn't think so. Another horn and another missing piece. <laughs> Are we in a secret club? <laughs> uh. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Yo. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. Pocket the Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Delightful. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. Mm. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? I'm go with this one. Well, my mom whipped up a stack of my special chocolate chip pancakes, and she never lets me leave the house until I finished all my breakfast. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in mummy's boy. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. I'd rather be a mama's boy than be stupid and or ignorant. Which I am both of those things in real life. Casey, I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. His name is what Charmed, isn't it? did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this? Well, proportioned face. Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... Wearing a helmet so I can't see your face. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... I have to appeal to his ego. Every woman's dream? You got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Yeah. Who? Who? Who, yeah. Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Going to have to wait, I'll be right back. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Graham. Hornswoggle. Naga Naga. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. All of them. Please. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. Sound good? Thanks, Manny. Goodbye! Well, um... It'd be great if I could learn their names. Unearthed the treasure that was within. I could feel the riches with the edges of my fingertips. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll be cooler. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really? He gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. 
You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. I'm Graham. Graham Cr No. Cracker. No last name. Graham Cracker. <laughs> I love it. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Circumference. <laughs> but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself. Starting with my name. You That's funny. should call me Acorn. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Ram. I'll leave you be. Go away. Okay, so Acorn, and he's kind of a jerk. Yes. Have you remembered my name? I'm gonna just go for it. That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Going to have to wait one second. Huh. I'll be right back. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Ah, Chaka. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? A chaka. I'm gonna call him a chaka. Nice. I prefer the hand whittled sapling arrows myself. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. His name is Achaka. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, Maybe. I'd lose circulation and my limb I can bribe him off. to give me his name. Save if I tried to remove my arm, it would be... What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. Kind of a weirdo does that. Hmm. Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. With an acorn. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. <coughs> he's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance, but the translation isn't quite working. Mm. How can I talk to him from si a such chaka. a from such a distance? So, where do you hail from? Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Yeah. No idea about that guy. Really got no clue. How do I get your name, sir? Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna get to it. If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from. Maybe I can find more feathers and impress him. Make him like me. Help! I'm stuck. I'm not stuck anymore. Oh! I'm just gonna try talking to him again. Footsteps. No. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. <sighs> I can't be waiting figure right it out. Here, Maybe I'll just start the test and see what happens. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. 
we're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. Don't tell right. people that, Next dummy. question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Mmm, sir, ten of himself? Okay, moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? <laughs> Trick question. Manny is his full name. I see. Last oh, question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Uh, pork chop, a rack of minotaur, sprig and roast, anything that holds butter, really. <sighs> How many did I get right? Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got one answer correct. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Well, at least I get... Uh, however many tries. <laughs> Help me, buddy! What do you want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was whispered. He's the worst. Oh. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. It's a bomb! It's a gun! It's dangerous. You, you need to get lost. Sorry, big guy. Well, now I know everything, I think. Tallying, tallying. How bad is it? It two? looks like you got two answers two! correct. Why don't you go and mingle? Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Okay. Time for dirt. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Yes. What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? <laughs> his feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Mm -hmm. The ivory monster unveiled it, yes. Have you remembered my name? Yeah. Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is oh. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do Clearly. we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. I think I got oh, all the no. answers. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Truth. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Moving on! See how many answers I get right this time. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. You don't tell people Next that. Question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Achaka. Okay. Moving on. I don't know what how I didn't figure that out. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? 
Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. III of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Yeah. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Yes. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. What? Great job, Pockets. Now, Pockets. we should <laughs> keep our new friends waiting, <laughs> should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. Red. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. Oh, crap. That's right. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here! I got mine right here! Yeah. I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. What? <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum 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 dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Creepy. Thank you. Very creepy. Nothing to see here. There are many <laughs> hideous eyes to find Man. in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. All right. 